Hope y'all had a good week, good weekend. Anything exciting happen for you guys this this last weekend, this week? It's Thursday already. I cannot believe that it is Thursday already. I had a crazy weekend, you guys. Um, uh, Private Money Club came to Columbia, South Carolina. We had my wife and I had a big conference called the Reup, um, and it was it was awesome. And we had Jose, Xander, uh, we had Stephen Nagy in the house. We had Michael Puglisi in the house. So it's just cool to see everyone in person. I love my webinars, but man, I love the live events too. And there's a lot of, a lot of great connections there. Did you guys go to, do you guys go to live events in your area too? Do you go to like local real estate meetups or anything like that? It's important. It's important to, to make the connections, you know, private money club has a great platform, right? Borrowers, lenders. So, you know, but it's, it's nice to, to go to like a money tank event or one of the events that these guys put on to just see people face to face. I think there's a ton of value in that. As a real estate investor, lots of times, everyone I'm sure has heard this a million times, driving for dollars and looking for opportunities, looking at houses with overgrown grass and, you know, um, you know, finding deals that we could potentially buy and fix and flip. But for lenders, because I know we got a lot of lenders on this call, for my lenders, I'll give you a big tip. If you're driving in your neighborhoods or in your markets, in your cities, and you see dumpsters outside in the driveways, houses are being flipped, houses are being renovated, get, get your business cards, get business cards made. Um, at, at, you know, at, this, at the simplest level, get a business card made, knock on the door, hand it to the contractor, say, hey, uh, is, is the owner home? They're probably not gonna be there, right? I, I'm interested in this house, here's my card, have them call me. And they will call you. The contractor will give the card to the owner. I promise you, this happens every single time at our fix and flip projects. And then I'm telling you, as lenders, this is fantastic. And then you can interview the person when they call you. Say, hey, I got your card. You're interested in the house? Are you looking to buy a house? So on and so forth. That's what they're going to think. They're going to think you want to buy the house that's being fixed and flipped. And you say, no, no, no. Um, I'm curious. I'm a, I'm a lender. I'm a private lender. I'm curious. How did you fund this flip? How did you fund it? And if it, did, did you use hard money? Did you use your own cash? And if they say, oh, I, I use hard money lending. Fantastic. Well, I'll tell you what, you know, can I, can I ask you a question? Can I ask you what rates you were paying? Like, you know, they might say, oh, I'm paying 13%. Now you know how much they're paying. They have a track record. You can see the progress. You can see that they exist. Their properties exist, right? You can a ask them for a tour, see how things are going. You can drive by the property every day, make sure the work's getting done. You've just found yourself maybe a really good borrower by driving for dollars and, and driving, you know, around in your neighborhoods and finding opportunities that way, which is super cool. So like mm -hmm. my friend here was doing knocking on doors to uh, find sellers, right to find deals, you can also find lending opportunities as lenders by looking at dumpsters looking at the projects that are being going on in your current areas and things like that, which is awesome. So is that good stuff? I hope we were recording that. See what happens when you log on here early. We, we drop all these golden nuggets for you guys, right? It, it pays to get here early. All right, what's up everybody? Welcome to the Quick Start webinar. We do this webinar once a week, every Thursday at one o'clock. Uh, on this webinar, we practice private money lending fundamentals, best practices, principles. We put in the work. We put in the work right now so that when the opportunity comes across our desk, we can jump on it, we can take action, and we can make the most of things. Um, I am really excited. I'm just coming off of a huge event that we did here in Columbia. We had the PMC team in the house. I'm losing my voice a little bit, just starting to recover. And um, I'm fired up. I'm so fired up, like networking, hopping on things like this. This is how it's all, this is how it's all done. This is how you build those relationships. And let me ask you a question. When is the absolute best time to find your next borrower or your next lender? When is the absolute best time to find your next borrower or your next lender? All right, right now, right now, right now, right now. Yeah, or yesterday, yesterday even, right? So like, here's, I, I tell you, I'm gonna break, I got so much to share with you. I hope I don't come off like too much like a fire hose, but there's so much knowledge that I have and I'm gonna give to you guys. And so this is gonna be a really cool uh, 60 minutes that we're going to spend together. And 
I've actually uh, I got some cool slides. I'm going to peel back the curtain a little bit and show you like my personal experiences in Private Money Club and how I've been leveraging this amazing community for my real estate investing business. Would you like me to show you like real life stuff? Like this is exactly what Noah did. This is exactly what Noah experienced to be able to go out and, and crush some some deals and to make some great relationships. Would you guys like me to show you that? Okay, cool. I'm going to do that. I might be all over the place a little bit, but, um, <laughs> but I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you everything I got here today. Okay. So, um, any being that I'm going to share with you real life case studies and I'm going to share with you like my personal experience. It's especially important today that, um, I share with you a disclaimer, <laughs> right? So like, real estate is unique there's no two pieces of real estate that are the same that's like the definition of real estate right every piece of real estate is unique so every deal is unique every conversation is unique every experience every rehab every profit or loss is different okay so if i share with you what i did because you guys love the idea of case studies just know that it's never gonna happen the same way that it did for me for you People are, could make less, people could make more, right? Everything is, is debatable and open. There's so much that goes into being successful in real estate, okay? So um, I'm speaking from the context of a real estate investor. So I'm not a licensed attorney, I'm not an accountant, I'm not a real estate agent, I'm not a contractor, I'm not a financial advisor, okay? I'm speaking from someone who's in Private Money Club, an experienced real estate investor and what I've seen, what I've experienced, and I'm, I'm doing my best to share with you, um, you know, how to make the most of the, how I made the most of this platform. So you guys do with it what you may. I'm probably going to show this disclaimer like 17 more times today since I'm sharing personal stuff. Okay. So just know that, Hey, you got to put in the work, you got to put in the effort. You guys understand this and you're smart people. Right. But I know some of you, if you're on here for the first time, you might be saying, Noah, get to the meat and potatoes. Give me the nuts and the bolts, right? We know about the disclaimers. These are things that I take very seriously, you guys, and I, it's, it's important. So if you're on the call, we've got a lot of lenders on this call. If you're a lender on the call and your borrower isn't talking about all the things that could go wrong, that might be a red flag, right? If your borrower is making it seem like just rainbows and sunshine and gold bars are going to fall from the sky, that's a, that could be a problem, right? So we uh, great borrowers embrace the, the 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 risks, right? And we have plans in place for those risks. And and we're, you know, so don't be afraid to ask the tough questions. Hey, what if the market tips? What if the house doesn't sell as quickly as you like? You know, things of this nature. I'm a big believer. Before we go out and start having these conversations, that we go out and surround ourselves with those professionals, with the licensed real estate attorney that's going to be drafting our documents with the title company, with the real estate agent, with the insurance agent, with the financial advisor that can advise us on how to do this, this stuff the right way with our retirement accounts. All those people need to be in place so that we can have great conversations, but most importantly, have confidence that the people we're surrounding ourselves with are also going to not only help keep us safe, but help keep our lenders safe. Uh, give me a big oh yeah, if you guys are on the same page with me with this. This is first step. Uh, you want to get great at borrowing money, build out an amazing team. If you can't brag about your team, that's a problem. And I'm talking everybody from your attorney to your contractor. If you're fixing and flipping and you have a contractor and who's always late, um, you know, it, when they pull up to the job site, their dashboard is covered with like hamburger wrappers and like empty Coke bottles when they look like a hot mess. That's a reflection on you because you picked them, right? So we got to be able to brag about our team so that we can brag about our team to our lenders. Our lenders feel good and confident that we're going to be able to get this stuff done, right? So just a little insight there. I'm going to hit you with a bunch of disclaimers today because I'm going to share with you kind of like what I, I'm going to share with you real life stuff. I posted a deal on Private Money Club last week. Noah, why did you post a deal on Private Money Club? Don't you already have Private Money Lenders? Yeah, I got a bunch. But I'm a big one thing you'll learn about me. I'm a big believer that I got to make sure things are cooking and working how they should be. And, and if I'm going to be teaching with Private Money Club, I want to make sure that um, there's active lenders and everything's like working really good because I'm my name's at stake here, right? So I, I love this company. 
every once in a while I'll throw a deal up there just to make sure everything go, is uh, going to plan and boom, that deal got funded you guys in less than 45 minutes. I'm going to share with you like the timeline of when I made the post, the timeline of when I got the email saying I want to do this and the opt-ins to my website, people text messaging and calling using the same system that I've been teaching you every single week right here. Okay. So anyways, I'm excited. You guys can tell. Okay. So if, you, if you're logging in for the first time, one more time for me, if you're brand new, type brand new in the chat box. I love seeing new names. Um, if you've been on here a bunch of times before, this is the 10th time that we've done this webinar. Type in the chat how many times you've been on this weekly webinar. I'm curious. Anybody here been all 10? Two? Okay, cool. The numbers are coming in. So I'm a, I'm a real estate investor. The company that I do a lot of house flipping with has been established since 2013. It's called Revive Homes. I'm here in Columbia, South Carolina. I invest where I live. Uh, we have a 100% track record with our lenders, which means we do what we say we're going to do. Every single person that's on this call that I come in with interaction with, my goal for you guys is to have a 100% track record as well. This isn't going to happen overnight. This is why I encourage you to hop on my trainings, hop on my webinars, stay plugged in, stay, stay dialed in. But my goal for you, whether you're a borrower or a lender, is to create that 100% track record. Private money lending is relationship based. Now I know here's what makes private money lending great. Take note, write this down, practice saying this a million times. I've said this probably thousands of times. Um, what makes private money lending great? Where else can someone borrow all the funds that they need for a real estate deal without having to go to a bank? That's from the borrower's perspective. From the lender's perspective, where else can someone put money to work and have it secured by an asset that's worth way more than the loan amount, right? Now, I, I know that there's collateral and what makes private money lending great is the fact that there is collateral attached to that. And yes, we make great interest rates and things like that, but the real estate's what makes it great. The mortgage is what makes it fantastic. So a lot of people think private money lending is asset-based lending. That's important, right? It's important. But if you boil it down to its core, this, this is relationship-based lending. Earlier I asked, hey, when's the best time to be establishing new relationships with your next borrowers or with your next lenders? And you guys all said right now, right? It, how many of you are on here and you're having conversations weekly with new people? How many of you are having conversations with borrowers regularly on the in private money club or with lenders regularly in private money club? You know, last week I posted a deal. This is a good little lesson for you guys. I posted a deal. The deal got funded. I had a bunch of people email me, schedule time on my calendar to talk about this deal. And when I, to I told one person in particular, I said, hey, the deal got funded. And they said, okay, that's no problem. And then they ended up canceling our interview. And I was kind of bummed. I was like, you know, that, that stinks because, you know, maybe he could have done the next one, right? Or maybe, maybe they could have, you know, and they're like, oh, I, I did another deal. It's like, oh, okay, you did another deal. That's cool. You know, congrats, man. Like, that's awesome. I hope that everything works out good. But like, we, we didn't have the conversation. The, the name of the game of this business is to have, you know, five or six really good people. I mean, depending on how much money you got, you got to put to work, maybe you need more. But that's all you need. If you have five or six really good relationships, where you can de deploy funds. So that if you know, one loans coming back, you've got another one line, you're on the phone with, hey, you got anything coming up? You got anything coming up? You know, it's, it's, it's the name of the game. So the more conversations we have, the more relationships that we have built, the easier it's going to be to put your money to work, the easier it's going to be to get your deals funded. Um, I do, many, many of you may recognize me from uh, the Pri Private Money Club Money Tank. I am going to be speaking at the Private Money Club Money Tank in Salt Lake City in a few weeks. Um, I also teach an accelerator coaching program. Hey, if you've taken my coaching program and you're on this call right now, just say hi. I love seeing your guys' names. If you've taken the accelerator program before, say hi in the chat box. I, I love seeing you guys in here. What's up, Dominic? Hey, Celeste. Awesome. I, I, I saw you guys earlier. I know Tess is in here too and a bunch of you guys. Hey, what's up, Eduardo? Hello, hello from uh, New York, New Jersey area. What's up? Um, so I, I, if you are looking to expedite this process and you want to get really good at this, like right out of the gate and learn as much as you can, as fast as you can, the accelerator program might be for you. Um, throughout the course of this webinar here, I've got a PMC member, my man, Jose, got the team there in the chat. Jose's in the blue jacket there. 
Jose was in uh, Columbia, South Carolina with me this last weekend. It's good to see him face to face. We had a big event called the Reup, and um, and uh, PMC was a big part of this. We had a blast. If you were at the Reup, say hi. I know I see a few people on here that were at that event from all over the country, right? What's up, Stephen? What's up, Jose? Yeah, good looking group right there, right? So if you have any questions at all, I've got Jose in the chat box. So Jose is a PMC team member. There might be times where I'm like, hey, Jose, throw up this link. Jose will throw up the link in the chat box so that you can reference it, click on it, and so on and so forth. One of the things that Jose does is he helps anyone who is looking for kind of like a, a plan or a blueprint, if you will. If you're like, hey, I've just joined Private Money Club. Um, I'm, Or actually, let's do that. Let's do a roll call. How many of you are currently premier members of Private Money Club? You've joined Private Money Club. Say I am or yes, that's me or okay, cool. Um, Private Money Club, just so you guys know, to like join Private you can create a free profile, by the way. So everyone that's on this call right now, all 90 people plus that are on this call right now, if you don't have a Private Money Club profile, like what are we doing? You can have a free profile, has some limitations, but you can get in there and kind of mess around. And then there's the premium uh, membership as well. Uh, and I would I would recommend leapfrogging and going into Premier. But um, if, if, uh, if you have any questions at all, Jose is in the chat. He can help you guys out. Um, it's good to see so many um, Private Money Club members in here. So yeah, we had a blast. This is a platform for borrowers and lenders uh, where people can meet and do. And um, there it is. There's the link right there. If, if you feel like, hey, you know what? I'd like to have an idea, have someone map out how Private Money Club can help me specifically. Because the plan for borrowers, right? Let's do this real quick. If you're a lender in the chat, type lender in the chat. Type lender in the chat. I'm curious. If you're a borrower, type borrower in the chat. And we have a lot of people that do both. Yeah, Anna said I'm both. Steven said both. Cool. Yeah, both. So everyone's coming in here different, different plans, right? So if you need help as a lender finding borrowers and you need help as a borrower finding lenders, you know, that, that's a different blueprint. So if you if you want help with this, Jose in the chat box will throw it up. You'll see the link that, that says blueprint. Schedule a call with the team and they can help help you any way, shape or form. Right. They're awesome. They're awesome. They, they, they love what they do. Um, here's the thing that we help people with on these calls every Thursday and through the Private Money Club. I used to travel all over the U.S. teaching this stuff and um, whether it was California, Hawaii, Texas didn't matter. Even in my backyard, even in people I met this weekend at, at our local event, everyone knows I run into people all the time, all the time, you guys, and you probably do too. Experienced investors, even they know private money lending exists. They love the idea of using a private money lender, yet they're still using hard money or their own cash to fund their deals. I meet experienced lenders, 100 plus deals under their belt all the time who are still paying 13, 14, 15% to borrow funds plus points. They are, they are losing thousands of tens of thousands of dollars every year by continuing to use hard money. And I asked them, why haven't you, someone of your experience, level, why haven't you tapped into using like private money lending yet? And it comes always comes down to this, you guys. It comes down to credibility. Even though they have experience in real estate, maybe this is something new. They, they've never done it this way before. It's easy and it's and it's okay. If you're on this call and you're like, hey, that's me, you know, like it's okay. Like I'm here to help you through this. Like it's easy to go into a bank and ask for a loan for a million bucks if you're a real estate investor. It's easy to go into a bank and ask a loan for uh, ask for a loan for uh 200, 300, 400, 500 grand right it's it because that's what that's that's normal that's society right it's it's different for a lot of people they've never done this before they've never asked a person for four hundred thousand dollars they've never asked a person for half a million dollars right so in their eyes sometimes it's like they got this self-doubt that creeps in it's like am i credible enough to have these conversations well we crush that that um on these calls okay so it's not going to happen overnight but if you stick with me over the next couple of weeks or take the accelerator course or stay around this campfire that's called private money club, I think you're going to be okay. Right. And a lot of that also has to do with the clarity of things. You know, what documents do I use? You know, um, how does it even work? I don't even know what questions to ask. If, 
if I'm lending money to do it the right way. And a big reason why I teach this class straight up, I had friends that lost money, private money lending. They didn't know what they were doing. It wasn't, you know, they came to me after the fact, hey, Noah, this was supposed to be for a year. It's been 18 months. I haven't heard from the person in six months. Can you help me? And I'd ask them, hey, do you have this document, this document, this document, this document? They're like, no, I only have this. Okay. Well, did you think to ask this question, this question, this question, this question? No, I didn't even know to do any of that. And what happens is lots of times they just have like this piece of paper. It's like a promissory note and that's it. And it's not even recorded or anything, right? And it's, 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 it's might as well throw it in the garbage. So, so that really pissed me off because you guys, I truly believe that private money lending is, is a great way for borrowers to fund deals and a great way for lenders to make money. I truly believe that win-win situation. So when private money club asked me to coach, I said, I'm in, let's go, right? I'm here to teach as many people as I possibly can here at PMC. What you'll find is the community. Um, and we're going to talk about this today, believes in that win-win, that win-win opportunity, okay? And, and, and in, this, in this, like, I call this like a fishing pond, if you will, like, everyone's here to do business. Everyone's here, like, I teach how to do elevator pitches. I teach this all the time, how to do elevator pitches. But at Private Money Club, I've never had to say one because everyone already understands what private money lending is, how it works. And it just makes the conversations easy. It just all becomes about presenting yourself, presenting your deals, which is pretty cool, right? So every Thursday, here's what we're going to do. We're going to practice. We're going to practice the fundamentals. We're going to practice the basics. I throw in some weekly lessons. And then here's what I'm extremely adamant about, making moves, okay? I'll, at the end of this session here, I'm going to show you a slide right now. Just pick one or two things to do to continue building your momentum, okay? Don't let this be like the webinar where you log in, it's at one o'clock, so I'm gonna make my turkey sandwich and listen to this guy talk about private money lending. Let this be impactful on your life and your business, right? So how do we do that? I'm gonna give you some assignments every single week, right? Which is awesome. All right, cool. Steven, shame on you. Steven, shame on you. Steven says, my first lend, I still haven't gotten back and I'm out 13 grand and I didn't follow the process. So I was actually on the phone with Steven um, two hours ago. Isn't that right, Steven? I was at Smoothie King. He had a question. He called me up. He's got a, two big meetings. He's got two big meetings uh, coming up on Saturday. And I was helping him prepare for those meetings, right? Giving him outlines of what to talk about, how to do, right? And Steven, Steven is one of, my, one of my students. I love this guy. Um, he's got some deals cooking. Also, I know for a fact, Chris Stokes, Chris Stokes, if you're watching, say hi. My girl, Chris Stokes, out of, I believe, High Point, North Carolina, has a nice little deal cooking. It might still be available. If you're looking for a good opportunity, that's a great uh, borrower right there. Do your due diligence, of course, guys. Interview her, look, learn about the transaction, learn about the deal. But Christine Stokes has one cooking right now. Chris, drop your email there or someone message her if you're interested and you got some money you want to put to work. Okay. All right, making moves. All right, here we go. So every single week we practice... Every single week we practice um, the fundamentals of things, okay? We practice the fundamentals. So what is a private money loan? A private money loan is a loan secured by real estate, okay? Oftentimes the interest is higher, right? But this is what we need to know right now. It's a loan secured by real estate, just like a bank, just like a bank, okay? Those four little words, I, I say this all the time, just get them tattooed right here on your forearm so you don't forget them, okay? Here's why this is so important, just like a bank. If you're logging on here and this is your first time, you're brand new, just like a bank. So in Private Money Club, everyone knows for the most part what private money lending is. But if you start having conversations with people, friends, family, coworkers, uh, other investors or people within your circle, right? And you're explaining to them and, and you believe that you can help them put their money to work, in the form of a loan secured by real estate, you may want to have a conversation with them about that, right? So how I explain what private money lending is to someone who's may, may or may not have ever heard about it before, they simply say, hey, it's a loan secured by real estate, just like a bank would do. And I might say, hey, look, do you own your own house right now? And they're going to say yes, right? If they own their own house, they're going to say yes. Great. 
when you went to buy that house and you were at your attorney's office or the title company, you probably were signing a big pack of documents like this, right? And they're going to say, yep, absolutely. I'm going to say, fantastic. Remember, um, did you sign a mortgage? Did you get a mortgage? Yep, I got a mortgage. All right, cool. Um, did you, uh, did you, uh, did you get a promissory note, right? Did, did you, were you signing a promise to pay the back that loan? Yep. All right, great. Did you personally guarantee the loan? Yeah, I believe that was part of the deal. Yep, absolutely it was. Did you get insurance set up before you that deal got funded? Like before you went to the closing table, did you get, call your insurance company and add your bank to that? They're going to say, yep. Did you do it? Did they do a title search? Did they do a lender's policy? Yep, yep. So all of these things that they've done before is exactly what you're going to do for them. And when you explain it like that, and add to the fact that that person can make a double digit rate of return on their money, you're going to start to see the light bulbs. You're going to start to see their eyes get big, the smiles, the head's going to tilt a little bit. You're going to see the ahas, the booms, right? Start to pop off. So here's what's cool about this, guys. Like anyone can be a private money lender. This doesn't have to be a multimillionaire, okay? This, this could be your neighbor. It could be a friend. I'm telling you. In Private Money Club, there's a tons of people in there, probably more lenders than borrowers that are like, hey, I'm ready to go. Where you don't necessarily have to have those conversations, but if we can get good at these little fundamentals, when you do have those conversations, you're gonna hit it off all the better, right? Right, Steven? All right, cool. So then we talk about the money. Hey, uh, we pay anywhere. So you've just told them how it's just like a bank, right? So credibility piece, right? Same systems, bank, paperwork, banks want, Right, so now they're like, oh wow, that sounds good. Is this too good to be true? Right? No, it's not. We got the documents. That sounds fantastic. Interest rates. However, you pay, whatever amount you pay, get good at practicing this and get good at rehearsing this. Okay. This is one of the things I'm big on practicing in, in the accelerator program. If you guys want one on one help with this, I can help you with this. Be glad to, right? Just click the blueprint link there that Jose just posted. Schedule some time and, and talk, you know, learn about what it's like to, to work with us in a small group, uh, helping you out individually. Okay. So, but here's what I do. We pay anywhere from eight to 12% annualized interest. Each loan opportunity is unique. Each loan opportunity is unique. So I'm giving them a general idea. Okay. Eight to 12, maybe that's eight, 8% might be like my rental properties. 12% might be my fix and flips. But the idea here is guys, practice practice what you would say okay get this down like like you know it like you're telling someone your phone number you know it like the back of your hand okay if you're a borrower you might say hey we pay anywhere from eight to twelve percent annualized interest each loan opportunity is unique right as a lender you might say hey we lend anywhere from eight from ten to fifteen percent each loan opportunity is unique the conversation's pretty much the same okay <laughs> And if you're, if we go back to the last slide, if you're a lender and someone's trying to figure out what it's like to work with you, Hey, I'm a private money lender. Instead of using hard money, have you ever thought about private money? No. What's that? It's a loan secured by real estate, just like hard money lending, right? Just like a bank would want. Oh, you do that. Yeah, absolutely. I, I, you know, I lend anywhere from 10 to 15%, whatever that looks like for you. Okay. So practice this. These are kind of like the elevator. These are like the floors in your elevator pitch, which is super cool. Okay. All right. Um, here's what we provide every single time at a minimum. Now there's more to it than this. Okay. There's more to it than, than this, like, and, and, and if you want more in depth and want checklists and things like that, hop on the link that Jose will post here in a minute, schedule a one-on-one -on -one call, get in the accelerator class and I'll run through that with you. Okay. But for, for conversation purposes, to get people excited about working with us. And this is the fundamentals right here. Like my friends that lost money, they didn't do these things. They were attracted by someone that's like, oh, it's 15% interest. It's 18% interest. It's 20% interest. What could go wrong? Well, if you don't have these things in place, a lot could go wrong, right? To start. Okay. So anytime that I'm borrowing funds, I'm going to give to my lender a promissory note. I'm going to give them a mortgage or a deed of trust. Right, depending on the state, I'm going to provide them with a personal guarantee because here's what's going to happen. They're going to lend to my entity. They're going to lend to my LLC. They're going to lend to Revive Homes, the company that I just showed you 20 minutes ago on the very first slide. Right. 
but I'm the owner operator. I'm the manager of Revive Homes. And so I'm going to go above and beyond. I'm also going to personally guarantee Revive Homes as loan. And as a borrower, you should be doing that. I truly believe that. That's how I operate. As a lender, you should be asking for that. And if someone doesn't want to give you a personal guarantee, let's ask them why that is, right? Maybe there's something more to it, but let's ask them. Let's, let's figure this out, okay? And then I'm going to get insurance set up on the, uh, and I'm going to add my lender to my insurance policy, right? Just like a bank would want. These four things right here, and of course, we're doing title searches, lender's title policy, things like that. That's kind of like the next level conversation. But for conversation purposes, every single time, these things right here are going to help us stay safe. Okay, it's the whole point, what makes private money lending great? The collateral. But you don't have collateral if you don't have a mortgage or a deed of trust that's been recorded, right, in the county where you're where they're doing business. Okay, so this is this is important. Can you expand on adding the lender to the insurance? Yeah, Claudia. So I'm a I'm a I'm gonna if Claudia was my lender, I'm gonna say uh, uh, I use a company called NREIG for most of my deals, not all of them, but most of them. I'll type it in here: National Real Estate Investor Group dot com. You know, just go there, check them out. It's, it, Chris uses them too. Steven uses them too. All right, cool. I'm not the only one here. Um, and I'm going to add you, Claudia, as the loss payee on the insurance. Okay. So if there's a fire, something happened, you're covered. Okay. And then at closing, I'm also going to request, like I have a title policy. I have title insurance, right, on the property. But I'm going to provide you with your own policy too. I'll do a lender's title insurance policy as well. Okay. So those are the things. And now I pay for all of these things, by the way. Yeah, second position gets all this stuff. Second position gets all this stuff. I don't, if you're 28th position, I'd want this, all this stuff too, okay? All right, great question, Celeste. Do you ever feel like you don't have control of your real estate business or your money? That's right, the big banks and the institutions, they're in control, right? I know you've felt that before. Private Money Club puts you back in the driver's seat. As members often tell us, it's a total game changer. Join the community of like-minded lenders and borrowers by going to privatemoneyclub.com and sign up. All right, so show me the money. So now let me ask you a question. I just, sh sh yeah, just like a lender would want, right? So show me all, show me the money. Now who's writing all this, these documents? Are you printing this stuff offline and, and, and filling it out with the blue pen? and then sending it over to the lender to uh, to sign off on? No, I, the very first thing I say when I hopped on the call is we're gonna surround ourselves with licensed business professionals, right? So the very first person at the top of that list should be a real estate attorney that's gonna be doing your closings or gonna be reviewing your documents. So how I operate my business, people ask this all the time, I'm sure this is probably gonna be a question. So this is what I do. You can kind of figure out what you like to do all right, um, but this is what I do. So what I do is I go, I come in and again. Yes, thank you, Jose. So timely, right? You guys, if you want to learn this stuff with me, hop on a call, take control of your money, learn how to do this the right way. Education is the key. I'd love to have you in my next accelerator class. We start May 6th. We start May 6th, okay? Click the link, learn all about it. But how I do this is if I have a lender that's ready to go, um, then I, basically the next steps would be and i was talking to steven about this earlier teaching him kind of like what i do i said this is what we do so if i have a lender that's really excited to fund one of my deals here's what i'm here's what i'm going to be doing i'm going to write an email i'm going to cc the cc the the lender and i'm going to introduce my lender to my real estate attorney and to my team and i'm going to instruct the team to draft the mortgage the promissory note uh make sure there's a personal guarantee in there and then I'm going to go out and I'm going to start the process of adding them to the insurance and I'm going to order a title policy and things like that. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. If, if how I do this business, because what happens in private money club, lots of times the lenders are in different States. You guys are all over the, the country. I'm in Columbia, South Carolina. You might not know if you were my lender, someone in Columbia, South Carolina. So what I do is I have my team set up and I would say, Hey, um, you can use my team if you want. They're great. We do this all the time. Um, if you use my team, we keep it in house, then uh, my real estate attorney, then I actually will cover all of those costs. And then I always recommend that the lender has the documents reviewed by their own attorney or counsel, right, to make sure everything looks good and everything they want to change. 
Okay, so if you use my peeps, I pay for it, and it makes it easy, right? So that's kind of how I do it, which is good. Again, pre prepared by a licensed professional. So if you guys get great at these two things right here, explaining this, no matter if you're borrower or lender, hey, where else can a real estate investor borrow all the money that they need to fund a real estate deal without having to go to a bank? And uh, my, one of my favorite lines here, where else can a person put money to work at a great interest rate and have that money secured by an asset that's worth much more? It becomes a no brainer right it becomes a no-brainer uh, oh let me I think I skipped this slide here um, which was which was the rules not really rules but just kind of like housekeeping items if you have a question for me type it in the Q&A section on the webinar because if it's in the chat box I will probably miss it okay so if it's if it's a if it's a question type it in the q a box if it's a, if it's a question for the group or you just want to throw the question up in the chat like that's cool but if it's for me type it in the in the q a box so that i see it okay guys all right cool um this is my little system so we practice this all the time every single week we practice this and, th and I'm, I'm telling you it's it, this is the simple structure of how i leverage private money club so in private money club i could actually i could pull it up if i wanted to maybe i'll do that at the end I, I call it the trifecta so first thing i do if i have a deal that needs funding okay i post i post my um, property in private money club so i create a little flyer they have you ask it asks you information about your deal how much you're looking for things like that so the deal gets posted to private money club the second thing that i do is i post in the public forum. Okay, so I think there's a lot of opportunities in the public forum to build good relationships. So I post a deal, I post in the public forum. I also send out emails. So if I don't have a deal right now, but my goal was to find and build relationships with lenders or borrowers, I would be posting in the public forum frequently and encouraging people to reach out to me to have a one on one meeting to have a talk right to, so that we can get to know one another and learn and learn about one another's goals see if it would be good to work together okay so if i don't have a, a opportunity right away we can still post in the forum to start building those relationships my call to action my call to action is then to have people hop on hop on over to my website when they go to my website i've got a little video explaining what it's like to work with us and all they got to do if they want to schedule a one on one meeting with me is just pick a date on my wife and I's calendar and then I call them up at that time and place right some we can do a zoom call whatever. I think here's a tip for you guys, I think one of the biggest things that I see people misstep is that they go like chips all in to get a deal funded in the forum or or by posting their deal and it's like. We need to close as soon as possible like here's you know a million percent interest to make it happen and they're like they like go all in trying to and they end up sounding super desperate right in this business you can't sound desperate you don't want to be put yourself in a position to be desperate okay so you got to know that these are win-win opportunities for everyone that's on this platform as as a lender, you know, I don't know where else you can make a double digit rate of return and have it secured by an asset that's worth much more. Many of the lenders that I work with love the fact that I pay them 10%. Right? So, and, and, and a big part of my ability to pay them only 10% is because I've got a 100% track record. Well, that's what I'm helping you build too. Okay, so don't get on private money club and just be like, Oh, it's, you know, 20%. I'll do whatever it takes. Like, you're actually probably hurting yourself by making those types of posts. Okay. And as a lender, you got to really look at those types of deals and be like, ah, does this make sense or not? Like, you know, is this, is this, is this risky? Like, how am I going to get my money back? You really got to dig deep, right? You got to interview those people, find out what the game plan is. Okay. But the goal here, I learned this from my communication coach, Jamie Miller. He said, Hey, look, Noah, the only thing you're selling in this step of the process here is a meeting. Okay, the only thing that you're selling here is a meeting. All right, so just remember that, guys. That's that's some really good advice. You guys liking this stuff? Give me a big oh yeah if you're liking it. If you're brand new to the call and you've never heard this before, is this good stuff? Are you learning things? 
right? Uh, for my people that have been on the calls before, is it good to hear this on a weekly basis, right? You know, when I was talking to Steven, um, who's on the call, I, I keep referring to him because I was just on the phone with him. He's like, man, you make it sound so easy. Or whatever. Here's the deal. I've said it a thousand times, at least, at least probably 10,000 times. So we got to practice this stuff, right? And, um, you know, I have a coach for everything. I have a marketing coach who helps my business find deals and do. She says this, she says, hey, look, if you want to be great at something, you got to, you know, uh, after, I, I was, it was it the 100 hour a year theory or something like that. If you practice anything for 100 hours a year, you're going to be better than I think it was like 98%, 99% of everybody else out there doing it. So is that right? So are you putting yourself in a position where every single day, and if you break down 100 hours a year, I think it's like, I could be way off uh, on this, but I know this, it's 18 minutes a day, 18 minutes a day. So if you want to get great at a thousand hours, thank you, Brandon. I knew the math wasn't adding up a thousand hours. So if you want to get great at this, are you putting yourself in a position where at least 18 minutes a day you're practicing, right? I hope, you know, this webinar is an hour, so there's 60 minutes, right? We got to figure out where we're going to get those other minutes, okay? Are you practicing at home or you, do you have like, you know, printouts and you're, that you're studying and things like that, right? Um, you know, how are you practicing? Jose, is the link working? Make sure the link's working, Jose. Maybe you didn't copy it perfect. I had a couple of people on here wondering if the, if the link's working good. All right, cool. So a few weeks ago, we talked about credibilities and surrounding yourself with the best of the best. I can't stay on this slide long because we got other stuff to teach. Uh, last week, we talked about learning and then educating, right? Educating people about how to become a private money lender. Um, this is where we ended the call. We are booked out. Wow, okay. This is where... We ended the call last week, so it was like 2.05, and I was on this slide, and Chris Noggle actually had another webinar, so he kicked this out. So I, this is the slide that we left off with, and I'm just going to share this with you. Like, So if I wanted to get good at borrowing money and having meetings with people and things like that, I would have this somewhere, like whether you're saying this information, whether you are teaching it to them, maybe it's on your website. Maybe it's on your, um, like, uh, maybe you hand someone a brochure or, or what, what have you. However, you're having these conversations and edu educating people about becoming your lenders, I would show them the power of compounding interest. Okay, show them the power of compounding interest. Now, this is not a graph that shares, like, hey, this is how much money a person can make. Okay, like, let's be clear on that, right? Compliance, if you're listening, this is a compounding interest chart okay it's not how much money someone can make so on and so forth okay but if you look at the difference at a compounding interest rate of one percent and a compounding interest rate of 12 percent it's astronomical right in a 10-year time frame the difference that that makes you guys what's cool here's what's cool about and this is what i told my group this weekend here's what's so cool about private money club this is the most educated high level financial group that i've ever had the the blessing of being a part of because many of you are educated week after week day after day by chris noggle and steven Nagy and the team right if you subscribe to the money multiplier uh type it in the chat just type you know uh mm or money multiplier or ibc how many of you have insurance policies you study these guys you came across these guys you're in this room because you saw a video where Chris Noggle was like talking about being their own bank, right? My guess is it's a lot of you. And what I found in Private Money Club is it's the same exact thing. So you are, Hannah did mine, me, 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 you guys get this. So what's cool is in if you're on this call and you're a borrower, you're a real estate investor and you're like, man, I gotta find people with money who understand the power of compounding interest and wanna put their money at double digit rates of return and are unhappy with the status quo of dumping into 401ks or savings account at 1%. Welcome home, <laughs> welcome home. This is the spot right here, you guys. And my mindset to all of this, cause people, you guys all think like that. You're in the right column, right? You're in the right column already. So. 
my philosophy was with this is and what, the lesson here is your mindset. It is so important that your mindset is that this is a win-win scenario for everyone. This is a win-win setup, okay? So you you will never see me on my hands and knees begging for a loan, right? Because my mindset is that I'm helping people. If I can find them an opportunity and pay them 10%, 12%, 14%, right? And have it secured by a house, where else is someone gonna get that type of opportunity? It just doesn't exist. Right. It does it to the average everyday person, right? My lenders, I'm a big believer that the difference between our lenders earning 1% in a savings account and earning double digits, okay, is us. In the, it's us, everyone on this call. That's the big difference, okay? Because you're the one who is offering the opportunities and presenting and educating and doing. So just know this, okay? Why do, why do lenders love it? Well, the collateral, the c- compound interest, and it's, it's, you know, it's never going to be perfect, right? There's going to be days where your money might be going back into uh, an account waiting for your next deal or whatever, right? But you guys get the idea. If you got that lined up beautifully, you can put your money to work at, you know, uh, as much as possible using these resources, right? And you get to, here's what's cool. You get to pick as a lender, which deals you do. You don't just dump your money in a fund and then the fund goes off and does something with it. You get to pick the houses. You get to pick the people. Like that's that's crazy. That's unheard of, right? So here's some common terms. People always ask common terms, and this is good since we got a lot of new new folks on the call here. So when I set up, uh, you know, when I set up, this is a fix and flip scenario. Okay, I do. I still do a lot of fix and flips. Okay uh most mostly flicks and fix and flips maybe like 80 percent if i had to do a number fix and flips 20 percent rental properties as an example so and this is this is also important too so if i were to explain how private money lending worked i would probably explain it in the context of a fix and flip property okay so if you're a borrower on the call just take note i probably explain this in a fix and flip property because it's easy for people to grasp the concept and that's what i'm going for here simplicity so this is the same slide that i would have in in a presentation that i would be giving to someone who is thinking about maybe working with me okay so i would say hey here's what we do we pay simple annualized interest on our fix and flip projects right we pay anywhere from eight to twelve percent annualized interest now what this means is that in order to make the if i'm paying you twelve percent In order to make the full 12% on your money, that means we would have your money for the entire year, right? One year, okay? Annual 12%, okay? And I would let them know that most of our fix and flips, and this is how we do business, and I think my experienced real estate investors would agree with this, there's a big difference between how long you think something's going to take and the term of your loan. So if you're doing fix and flip projects, you might say, um, hey, uh, the estimated timeline from start to finish on this deal based off of how much work the house needs, based off of the market, right? Days on more average days on market, things like that is six months. So you might say, hey, the term of the loan is a 12 month balloon loan. At the end of 12 months, we pay back your principal, your interest, right? If the house hasn't sold or hasn't been refinanced. However, we believe that based off of all this facts and all this data that I'm providing to you, that the project's going to take six months, okay? Estimated whole time, six months. We set everything up on a one-year, or in other words, 12-month balloon loan, right? And then you might be familiar or you may not be familiar with the term points. Uh, Points are uh, basically a percentage. So one point is 1%, two points is 2%, three points is 3%. Uh, of the loan. So it's a fee. Okay. And you can pay them up front. You can pay them on the back end, but it's a, it's just an, another way for a lender to make money. Shorter term loans, it's going to be more common to see points, right? Because of, um, uh, you know, if, if it's only going to be two or three months or four months and you're paying 12% annualized interest, you know, at the end of the day, that's not a huge return. So we might sprinkle in some points to make sure that it's worthwhile for that lender to do the business with us, right? Which is super cool. 
monthly interest payments, maybe the interest is paid at the time of the sale, so on and so forth. And then of course, we always provide the critical documents written by the attorney that we covered earlier, promissory note, mortgage or deed of trust, personal guarantee, insurance, title policy, and, um, and things like that, okay? So just some common terms, all right? One of the things I was gonna teach you here today is just a little negotiation tactics and, and some negotiation strategies. And I think this reflects really well what makes private money lending great is that the interest rates um, are negotiable, right? And so these are, these, are some, these are some older deals that I've done, but I just got the slot. I got them on slides and the numbers are 100% accurate. So instead of making something up, I just figured, you know what, I'm just going to use this. So on this deal here, let me back up here. Let me see. All right. So here, this project right here, we did this one first, right? And the other one we did right afterwards. So as you can see, I'm paying a 12% annualized interest rate. Now, when I'm explaining private money to someone, I actually like to use 12% as the interest rate that I use when I'm explaining how it works because I set my loans up on, on 12 month terms. So it helps people realize that however many months I have their money, that's how much interest they're going to be earning. So if I'm paying them 12% annualized rate of return, the term is for 12 months, you guys get it. So if the loan only takes six months, then they're going to earn a, they're going to earn 6% on their money, right? So from a communication standpoint, this makes it very simple and easy to explain how this works, which is nice. Okay. So on this deal here, 12%, a little uh, nice profit. This is like a base hit for us, maybe close to a double in our marketplace, easy breezy, Mr. And Mrs. And this would be an example. So if you have deals that you've done, I would absolutely put together a slide or something like this where you can show your case studies. Too many people on Facebook and the internet and all this stuff, they talk about, oh, look at all the money I made. We made this much profit, blah, 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 blah. Nobody cares. You're not gonna attract more lenders by talking about how much money you made. But you could tr attract more lenders by talking about how much your lenders are making. Bingo, ding, 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 ding. So anytime that you have a HUD, you have a closing, take a picture, don't celebrate your success celebrate your lender's success all right so as an example i might post something like this hey this lender congratulations to my latest lender in 153 days they made six thousand five hundred thirty seven dollars and 69 cents in interest and the best part about it was it was secured by an asset that was worth that sold for two hundred and seven thousand. right their, their loan amount was 130 their their loan their 130 loan was secured by an asset worth two hundred and seven thousand. They made this much in 153 days. Bingo, bingo, right? And celebrate your lenders, okay? Celebrate your lenders. So we paid this person 12%. Now on the next, we had a deal lined up right after that, but it's a much smaller deal. So I'm not gonna pay 15, 18, 14. I'm not even gonna pay 12% on a profit margin like this. In order to make this deal work, I had to pay my lender 10%. You might say, well, how do you get your lenders to pay 10% when you paid them 12% on this one? It's all about the deals, right? We pay our lenders what the deal allows us to pay our lenders. If I have a prop property where I'm going to make 100 grand, I, I might do 14% to my lenders. If I have a property where we're only going to make 20 grand, then it's going to be 10, right? That helps keep us safe. It helps keep our lenders safe, right? You guys digging this? Does this make sense? So here's something that I might say to my lenders in negotiation and lenders, I'm going to do the same thing for you. So I'm going to give you some things to say during negotiations. Right. And I was talking to Steven about this because Steven's about to get on the call. Steven, uh, Steven, uh, uh, not PMC Steven, but Steven that's in the chat, one of my friends and, and students, he's going to say, Hey, he's got a big call on Saturday. This guy likes to get 14%. How do you get, no, how do you get someone that's going to, that wants 14% to do 10 or to do 12. This is this is what we do, right? And this is what I teach in Accelerator, right? Jose just put the link. Jose, you got spots open up for these people? They're chomping at the bit. It's going to be PMC anarchy if they can't get into the Accelerator class. So hopefully Jose opened up some slots. You guys some, can schedule some calls and have him map you out a blueprint. But here's what I'm going to say. Okay, I'm going to say to these, I'm going to say to people, hey, look, and this is this is this is the deal. Okay. If I, have, if I have someone that's used to getting 12 and I can only do 10, I'm still going to present them with the opportunity. 
So during our conversations, initially the one-on-one -on -one meeting, I might say, Mr. and Mrs. Lender, there may be opportunities at eight, there may be opportunities at 12. I know you're looking for 14. <laughs> Do you wanna hear about all the different types of opportunities that I have? And of course, they're gonna say yes. I'm gonna say, fantastic. So when I present them with an opportunity, I'm gonna say, hey, look, this one's paying 12, here's the deal. I know you want, you're used to getting four, let's, I know you're used to getting 12%. This one right here is 10%. And I'm sure, I'm sure within the next month or two or three, I'm going to be able to find a deal that might work for you. We have a very specific buying criteria that we follow, right? We don't just buy houses because we have your money. We go out and we find the deals that make sense and then reach out to you for lending opportunities, right? This is, we're responsible with what we do. We have a very specific buying criteria that keeps us safe and it keeps you safe. And everyone with, 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 uh, with common sense is gonna be like, that sounds like a plan, right? Okay, great. So I'm gonna say, we, if we don't have a deal right now that does 12, but I've got this one that can start you out at 10. It might be a month or two or three before I find that one that we can do for 12. However, I think you'll find it beneficial. This is a very good deal. It's a very safe deal, a lot, you know, in and out type of trends. You talk about what's great about this deal. If, if we can start your, your money today at 10, you'll probably end up making, you could end up making the same, if not more, waiting for the 12 and having your money sit on the sidelines in the meantime. Did I say that okay? Does that make sense? Did I say that okay, guys, for you? So it's the time value of money. You're taking notes, time value of money. Money put to work today at 10 is better than sitting on the sidelines at one waiting for that 14% that home run deal, all right? The lenders that I work with that seem to have the most success with growing things are the ones that always got it in play, right? As soon as they take it out, they want it right back in. And if I don't have something at 14, they're happy with 10, they're happy with 11, they're happy with 12. Does that make sense? At the same time <clears throat> with lenders, for all my lenders, you know, how do you negotiate better rates? How do you negotiate better rates? Well, here's what I'm saying. Here's what I would do, especially if you're working with someone for the first time. If you've never worked with them for the first time, then ask for a higher rate. If you're just me, you know, if you don't have that pre-existing relationship, like you've done deals before together, ask for a higher rate. That makes sense, doesn't it? Right? But I would ask the borrower, hey, Mr. And Mrs. Borrow, what do you value? in a lender what are you looking for in a lender oh well i'm looking for someone that can close quick i'm looking for someone that can maybe fund uh, my entire purchase price and my repair costs i'm looking for someone that can make quick decisions i'm looking for someone that i want to um you know we want to build a long-term relationship and do deals over and over and over and over and over again right those are the things that we're looking for right now in a lender and if i was the lender i'd say okay great would you say that you place a low value or a very high value on working with someone like that? What are they going to say? They're going to say high value every time. I that's I place a high value on working with someone who's able to perform and do those things. Okay, great. Right? So then, so let me ask you a question. What do you think is a fair interest rate to work with someone that can do all of those things right there? And it's probably going to be higher than what you were thinking. Right? Is this good stuff? Is this good stuff? Type great stuff. If this is good stuff, type great stuff. Great stuff. All right, cool. Great stuffs are coming in. All right, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. So these are just different things that we practice every week, you guys. We've got a few more minutes on here. And um, every Thursday at 1, we practice this stuff. You know, this is this is what we do. And this is, how do you, hey, Noah, how do you get so good at this? I, I'm on here every Thursday. You know, why? one of the reasons why I love doing this is because I get better every single time that I teach it. So the more that I teach it, and that's that's exactly what I learned from my friend, Jamie Miller. Hey, if you're going to Money Tank in Salt Lake, you're gonna meet Jamie, uh, he'll be there. And um, he'll be teaching all kinds of cool, crazy stuff like this as well. I know that PMC still has virtual tickets to the Money Tank event. If you're like, what's the Money Tank? Click the link, Jose will tell you all about it. Money Tank is, a, is like our flagship event that Private Money Club does. Um, it's in, it, there's a virtual option. There's also an in-person option. Um, so that's an amazing event to take. There's also our, my accelerator coaching program starts May 
six. So if you like my style, you want to learn more about this, I'm telling you guys, I, I, I help turn people into private money lending assassins. I'm going to make you great at borrowing. I'm going to make you great at lending. The last group that I, that um, went through the program, I was so proud of them asking good questions and, and taking someone, taking 15 people who have never done it before and turning them in, in when you hear them talk and talk to the borrowers and they're like, well, I'm like, wow, like it really sounds like you've done this a bunch, but they have systems that they're following. I give them questions, checklists and things like that uh, to ask and do. Cause ultimately guys, if you're going to be lending funds, you're going to be lending money. You know, you are your own underwriter essentially. Right. So you got to make sure that, and if, and if you've never had any insight from, from someone before or, or done this before, it's important. Yes. You can make a ton of money, but a person can make a, a lot of money, but a person can lose a lot of money as well if they don't know what they're doing. So these are the things that if you continue to surround yourself with this call, accelerator coaching program, and everything that Pride Money Club offers, it's it's uh, it can be a beautiful thing for someone. OK, so here's here's my advice to you. Let's make a move. OK, make a move. I've got a few more minutes. I'm going to share with you something else here if I have time. But I want you to pick like just pick two or three things. Maybe just pick one thing. If you're like, no, I don't know what to pick, um, just just go like this. Hey, Suri, can you schedule my weekly quick start webinar Thursday at 1 p.m.? Can you send me a reminder 30 minutes in advance to make sure that I'm on that call? Done. That's how simple it is. You just made your move. OK, so everyone that's on the call, there's no reason not to be on the call next week. Same place, same time. Um, I would absolutely recommend schedule some time with Jose if he still has slots available and then hop into one of my coaching programs or the private money tank so you can meet people face to face, which would be great. All right, so I got some questions. I'm gonna answer these questions. And then if we still have time, I'm gonna share something else with you. If not, I'll save it for next week. So, all right, cool. At what point, great question. At what point uh, would you recommend a membership to private money club? I have raised private capital two times from local networking. Uh, 1500 bucks seems worth it. Yeah, absolutely, Jacob, absolutely. If, you know, here's the thing, like for the longest time, let me, all right, I'm going to share this with you, all right? I'm going to share this with you. Oh, and uh, I got I, I put up lots of disclaimers because this is my personal experience, Jacob. Are you still on the, are you still on the call, Jacob? Are you still on? All right. All right, cool. Thanks. Thank you for responding. Okay, cool. Um, all right, so this is, I just put this together. I shared this with my group here in Columbia, South Carolina, my re-up peeps. I shared this with them. Uh, this is like my family, this is my life, my, my livelihood, and I have no problem sharing it with you. So Jacob, for the first, I've been a member for almost two years of Private Money Club. For the first year, I really didn't do much in it because I had my own private money lender relationships. And at some point, I just, I just wanted to meet new people. And it was nothing against my old lenders. Um, I just wanted like new relationships. I'm so grateful that I, I that I did that, and um, and I also wanted to grow, you know. So I don't know what your goal are goals are, Jacob, but like I was always taught, like in my in my area, my average deal I need to raise, I need to borrow two hundred thousand dollars. Okay, if I want to do ten deals this year, just to keep it easy, ten deals, that means I need to raise at least two million dollars. Okay, you follow me? So if each deal is 200,000, I want to do 10 deals this year. I've always been taught I need to I need to borrow I need to get monies in the amount of 2 million bucks from however many people I need to, to fund these deals. And and the reason being is lenders are going to come and go. Okay? So you got to have backups, that's one point. The other thing is it no if I, my goal is to do 10, well I might be doing four at a time. I don't know when the next one's coming. So like I might have a house fixed, flipped, renovated, completed on the market, not sold yet, but then I got my next deal. In fact, maybe I got two deals lined up. Well, I don't want to be in a position where I'm waiting for this one to sell so that I can then go and use the other, that same lender again. Okay. So, and that's why if you're, if your goal, take however many houses you want to flip this year, how many rental properties you want to buy, Take how much money you're going to need and multiply them together. And that should be your borrowing goal. Okay. So yeah, 1500 bucks. Is it worth it? Yep. It's better than paying private money 
all the ridiculous fees and rates, you're going to save that on one deal that you do. It's insane, right? So uh, yeah, no brainer. Okay. So here's what I've learned. So the first year I didn't really, I wasn't too active. I thought I was, you know, I got my guys, I got my peeps. And then, then I started diving in. Here's what I learned. Okay. I have no idea if this is accurate. I'm just paraphrasing my experiences. There's more lenders than borrowers. I, I think there is. From my experience, it seems to be that way. So if you're a real estate investor, uh, hop in, the water's warm. If you are a lender, here's my advice to you. Take my accelerator program because I'm, as a lender, I will help you stand out. I will help you stand out. I'll help you design your profile. I will help you build relationships. I introduce you to people I know are doing really well within the community. That's part of the accelerator program for lenders. So if you're like, man, there are a lot of lenders. I keep seeing deals and messaging people and they say the money's gone or the deal's already funded. I, I got you, I can help you with that, okay? So here's what I've learned. There's more borrowers than lenders, right? Not a bad problem to have. I'm just, this is my experience, okay? And then I got the disclaimer in here because again, these are my, this is my experience, okay? This is my experience, not yours, mine. Uh, number two, there's a huge need for more deals. I have no idea if this is accurate, yet this seems to be this seems to be a ton. This is my experience. So I'm having conversations with people. They say, no, I've got five hundred thousand dollars. And if I bring them a deal and the deal is for two hundred thousand, they got three hundred left over. So <laughs> you see, you see they need more deals. OK, They're, they need more deals. Right. This has been my experience. OK, not yours, not anybody else's. This has been mine. All right. Again, disclaimer. This is not comical. We take this serious. OK my experience not yours um the need for an elevator pitch is essentially non-existent now i teach this in accelerator because i i would love for you to go out and build relationships with family friends people in your real estate clubs so on and so forth when you're in private money club i don't see the need for an elevator pitch because everyone knows what the heck private money lending is so for 10 years i was battling an uphill battle talking to people, building relationships, showing them how, you know, the value and working with me and getting people uh, excited the hard old fashioned way, like shoveling snow and walking to school in the snow. That was me with private money for 10 years. Private money club doesn't seem to be as, uh, as important. Uh, again, this is my experience, not yours. All right. Education is the difference maker. I would absolutely, I, I, I know it says I have no idea if this is accurate, but I'm, this is accurate. This is accurate. If you don't know what you're doing on here and as a real estate investor or as a lender, um, the borrowers are gonna spot it, the lenders are gonna spot it. And I believe you guys that you're gonna be more successful, a person will be more successful if a person has more education around this topic. That, that's, that's, just, that's just common sense, right? I also believe that education is going to keep people safe, okay? Education, your education is gonna keep you safe. One of the things that I work on in Accelerator is credibility. And if you're on this call and you're a lender and you're like, well, no, I've got money. What do I need credibility for? You need credibility to keep you safe. So let me ask you a question. In your profile as a lender, does it talk about the documents that you require to do business with you? If it doesn't, go add them. If you don't even know where to start with that, let me help you with that. Okay. I think that you know, every once in a while, I'm sure there's people in here. This is a, you can create a public, public profile, right? You can create a public profile, meet people, right? If, if, if someone was not going about things the right way, whether it's uh, on purpose or, um, or just, you know, trying to figure it out on their own, they didn't have education, uh, they, someone could end up getting hurt, right? I truly believe that if you are a lender and you have in your profile, I require a mortgage. I require a deed of trust. I require lender's title policy. I require personal guarantees. All if you have a little checklist in there, someone that doesn't know what they're doing is going to be like, you know what, this probably isn't the person for me, right? But someone who does is going to say, this person is speaking my love language. I want to do business with this person, right? So I think ed education is the difference maker. If you can swing the accelerator, it's not that much. It's not that expensive get on these calls every week at a minimum, right? To continue to educate and do you guys. That's why we do them. Okay. Um, again, that's my experience. That's my experience. I don't know what you guys will experience. That's been my experience. And one of the things I absolutely love about this community 
is that PMC encourages you to be active. They encourage you to be making public forum posts. They, they want these deals to get funded. They want to see success on this platform. They want this thing to grow like wildfire. They want you to post deals and do. So it's such a cool environment when everyone's like rooting for each other. When, you know, Chris gets so excited when a PMC, when a deal get, that gets posted on PMC gets funded, man, that guy's on fire. He gets lit up, man. That's like Christmas day to him. So like you're in a great place where, where people are rooting for you and cheering for you. Um, and, and those have been my five biggest takeaways so far in the private money, the private money club, right? All right, a couple more questions. I'm going to stop the share. Do people or some of your lenders understand the difference between hard money lender and a PML? I'm finding that some lenders say they are PML, but they're actually hard money lenders. Yeah, that's a great question, um, Chris. And so here's what I found. Yeah, so there's just so you guys know, and, and there are 75 people still on this call, so this is good. So if you Google private money lender, what's going to happen is going to be all these search results and it's going to be funds where p private people put money in the fund and then the fund figures out where to lend to, right? And that's a little more institutional than working with a person, right? So, so I would consider that to be more hard money than actually private money. So lots of times people will say, hey, I'm a private lender. Well, you might not have, you might have, be fun. You might fund deals that are like fix and flips and investment properties. And I love hard money lenders. Don't get me wrong. Like there's a time and place for that. All right. But if you're looking to build relationships with people, it's different. Okay. And maybe next week we can kind of talk about the differences a little bit more, but yeah, you're going to encounter that. You're going to say, Hey, I'm a private lender. And it's really just a broker that has different funds and, and they can introduce you to people. Right. So that's why it's important to talk to people on the platform and you know hey what do you do for a living oh i'm a doctor oh that's cool private lender hey what do you do for a living oh i'm a uh, i'm a contractor oh that's cool private lender right so it's a little bit different okay and there are lots of private money lenders in private money club and i'm sure there are hard money lenders that have the free profiles but you know and and, I, and if you're looking at profiles on private money club Two, like make sure there's a picture of a person, make sure they filled out their profile, like make sure that, that the, you know, if you're looking at, and if this is you, please fix this. Like if maybe you don't even know that you're not putting your best foot forward. If you have a profile on private money club, make sure that's your picture there. Cause no one's going to click on it. If your picture isn't there, right? Make sure you fill out your profile. Cause no one's going to really take it serious. If your profile isn't like filled out, like a little description about yourself, right? You don't want someone to think they're clicking on a virus, right? They want they want to click on your profile to learn more about you, not not have their computer freeze. Okay, so like make sure make sure that your profile like looks like a person would be some good advice uh, uh, for you guys. Uh, I wish I had a policy. I have a policy. I wish I knew about this years ago. That's right, Don. Never too late to start. Yep. All right, cool guys. Has this been a good call? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right, cool. Um, again, we'll be on here next Thursday, just working on our craft, sharpening our axes, right? Making our turkey sandwiches and getting great at raising private money, right? That's what this is all about. Um, you guys have been awesome. Thank you so much. If you need anything at all, contact Jose and I will see you on the next one. All right. Bye, everybody.